I'm working on a game that is currently only referred to by the file I named it under, Cowboy.exe. Cowboy.exe is a boss rush game where you play as a cowboy, funny enough, who arrives in a western town and must run around hunting down and encountering bounties, which are the various boss fights throughout the game. You'll find clues to locations and lore by talking to NPCs throughout the world, and will grow your reputation, cash, and power as you work your way up the western social ladder. At least... That's the goal. <laughs> Before we get into that though, I'd like to thank GameMaker for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure if you're watching this video, then you too have an interest in making games yourself. Look no further than to GameMaker. It does exactly what it sounds like. It's an easy and free to use software that helps you create your very own games with ease. That's right, completely free and super friendly for new users. Let's say for instance, you wanna make your very own game with no experience. Well, GameMaker's got you covered. Not only does GameMaker have a wide range of both video and written tutorials to help you, but it also has a very active community on tons of different social medias, allowing you to connect with other game makers and get the info you need. But I hear you, you're wondering, what if I can't code? Well fear not, because with GameMaker's GML visual coding, you can code now with ease. No previous coding experience needed. GameMaker is the no compromises all-in-one solution for all of your game making needs. It's got everything you need to develop a game in one place. So what are you waiting for? Download GameMaker today using the first link in the description and get started on your very own dream game. Once again, thank you to GameMaker for sponsoring today's video. So it's been a couple months since my last devlog where I announced that I, world-class mobile game reviewer, would be trying to make a game. And since then, the progress has been, uh, well, less than ideal. It started out really well. I worked more and more on the first boss fight of the game, 12 string if you remember, and I wrote up a bit of lore for 12 string, which is not a him or a her, because they are a bunch of dead human souls. So I'm happy to announce that Cowboy.exe is a progressive game, having its first boss go by the pronouns they, them. Yes, yes. I know, I know, thank you, I get it, I'm a hero. I then continue to make a bunch more boring changes to the fight to make it more fun and balanced or whatever. I also somehow ended up getting a really talented music producer to make some music for the fight and a couple of other things. His name is Spacelobster21 and he has been uploading all of the music for my game on his channel Techromancer Studios, so if you want to see all the new tracks he makes and support him, then there's a link in the description below. Here's a glimpse at a little bit of the boss fight in action. So, after all this was done, I decided to get public opinion on the fight by opening up a closed alpha build of the game to my Discord server, which, if you're not in already, you should be because I post constant updates on the game there and may have a beta in the near future, who knows, I don't know, don't miss it. But anyway, I sent this alpha build out to my server, and it was a roaring success. I think at one point we had like 15 people all in one VC, all simultaneously raging at something I created. It was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. From the beta, I got a lot of feedback on the game, and it was mostly all good. And then, from the bad feedback, I dropped my first update. Now let me tell you, writing patch notes felt incredible. Being able to balance a game yourself is something that every gamer wishes they could do. <laughs> so yeah, after that patch went live, the response was almost entirely positive, which felt really good. And if you yourself want to try it out, you can at the link in the description below. Yeah, so anyways, then I fucked it all up because I didn't like how the protagonist looked. Yeah, so one thing I noticed from the beta was that the protagonist just, uh, he, he didn't look right. Most people couldn't even tell what he was or supposed to be, what, his, what was his arm or what was his cock, and I couldn't have agreed more. There was an idea for sure, for sure there was an idea there, but with the limited pixel count, it just couldn't come to fruition. I realized I had to step back and figure out a new character design before I did anything else because uh, you can't have a game without without a main character. And so I sat there and brainstormed for three months. Yeah, so I was so distraught at the idea of having to restart all of my progress on the main character, redo all the designs, and have to make all the sprites and animations that I kind of gave up a little bit. I ended up going through multiple ideas of what the main character could be. It needed to fit the theme, but it also had to be simple enough that I, the one-man army, whose only pixel art experiences from Minecraft build battle, could also make it work. And so, 
After a lot of renditions, I finally crafted it. Ta-da! Yeah, so you probably have a few questions. Uh, for starters, what's with the TV static head? Well, um, it, it's a lore thing, so shut the fuck up. All right, that's all the questions I will be accepting. Thank you for your time. So, the new character has been made, and I honestly really like him. I think he fits the theme way better, and I like the mystery he radiates as that bandana just sways in the wind. But the main concern still stands. <laughs> How are his animations? Surprisingly, they went really good. His new slide looks goofy, but I kind of like it. Just the way his body entirely tilts, you know, 35 degrees. His crouch is funny, because he like tucks in his little hat. He looks kind of looks kind of cute and balls up. His dash, I really like. I like the little fade thing behind it that I added. I've definitely seen it in like multiple other games that just kind of ripped it off. But hey, I think it looks cool. And his new jump air roll, I think is a great change. I think it also looks better than just launching him upwards. Although it could probably use a couple more frames in the animation, but hey, that's later me's problem. Okay, so all of his movement animations work fine then. But how are his attack animations? Well, <laughs> that's funny because I have no fucking idea how to make him attack. You see, my original idea was to give him a sword like before, but make it separate entity that would follow the player and then you would swing the player, this player could like swing it at will, like almost like you're mind controlling it, but it would have like a little hand attached to it and then it would go whoosh and it, you know, it would have worked. But after hours of trying to get this idea to work, I got something that looked honestly pretty okay. Uh, the problem still was, I couldn't get him to attack. I just had the sword exist, it would follow him, he could jump around with it, he could drag it across the floor, I still couldn't make him attack with it. I then made many, many attempts to try and make some kind of good looking attack animation that would work with the sword. And every single one, uh, looked terrible. Maybe it's because I'm feeling rushed for time trying to make this devlog, or maybe it's because the floating sword idea just doesn't work. I, I don't know the answer, but all I know is that I do not have a functioning attack animation on the main character of a boss rush game. <laughs> so that's a big issue. Now I have ideas of where to go next. Maybe I, I give him a gun. Maybe I I had an idea where I maybe go like the Devil May Cry route, and I give him like a like a like a Venom like form he goes into, and then that part that that transition that character that I switch him into could be like could have better animations because they could be more fluidy like Venom or some shit. And then there's slash around. I really like Venom. That that is not that is completely unrelated. Uh, or I give him a gun. I was thinking about giving him a gun, but making the gun do melee attacks, but that didn't make much sense. So then I was like, maybe I give him the gun, but then I can make the other guy the Venom thing, and then he can do melee attacks, and he would look really cool, and maybe if I make him floaty enough, then he'll look good in then the other one. Or, cowboy, cowboy, he turns into ninja. The ninja version is the melee version. The cowboy version is the gun version. Either way, I don't know where I'm gonna go from here. You can leave all the suggestions you want in the comments, but that is the cliffhanger I'm going to leave you with on this devlog. And I hope to see you in the next one, where I develop an entirely new main character who dual wields gunchucks.